In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enter an invoice in Xero that's only for VAT. Okay, we want to enter a VAT only purchase invoice in Xero and I'm going to start off by showing you what doesn't work. So we've got a bill, we're just going to call it a test. It's a VAT only bill and I've put it the values £200 and I've coded it too. This is our VAT liability code. I'm going to say no VAT and I'm going to approve. You might think that that would work. So after entering that test, we're going to take a look and see if anything appears on the VAT return. I'm just going to choose the month of September, create a VAT return. And if we scroll down, we will see that there's nothing there. If we go to the transactions by tax rate, here we can see under no VAT, that transaction is there, but nothing has appeared on our VAT return. So clearly that didn't work. Okay, let's look at two examples of VAT only purchase invoices. Here's the first purchase invoice we're going to look at. It's from a garage and it, we've had an insurance repair. And when that happens, you can get a bill from the garage saying that you need to reclaim the VAT amount. So this bill is VAT only. It's VAT on an insurance repair and it's £200. We know that our test didn't work, so what can we do instead? So I've entered my description, VAT on insurance repair. Now I know that entering £200 is not going to work, so what I need to do here is I need to trick zero. So if this was a cost with VAT, of 200 pounds, the cost would be a thousand. So I'm going to enter a thousand. Where it gets coded to doesn't really matter. And you'll see that in a minute. We'll leave it as motor vehicle expenses. And I'm going to choose 20% VAT on expense. So what's happened is Zero's recorded a cost of a thousand and it's done what we want to do with the 200. But we don't want a cost of a thousand. So I need to enter another line. I'm going to use the same narrative. And this time I'm going to put a minus amount and I'm now going to choose no VAT. So we've got two lines. The first line is a cost going to motor vehicle expenses with 20% VAT, which calculates VAT at 200 pounds. But we don't want this cost because there isn't a cost to motor vehicle expenses. So we need another line, this time with a negative amount, still coded to motor vehicle expenses and no VAT. Let's approve that. And let's take a further look at our VAT return for the month of September going to create a VAT return. And when we scroll down, we can see that box four is allowing us to reclaim that 200 pounds. And that is exactly what we want. Okay, we're going to take a further look at a purchase invoice. This time it's from a courier and we've got import VAT of 200 pounds. We've got some other charges on this invoice as well, but this first line is a VAT only amount. Let's look at how we're going to deal with this one in zero. I'm going to say import VAT. Again, it's 200 pounds, but this time I'm going to put in the amount of 200 pounds. I'm going to choose the VAT code, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go to my tax rate. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to pick up VAT on imports. I can't stop there because I've got more on this invoice. If I have a quick look, there's some other charges that are VATable. This could be customs charges, something like that. I'm just going to choose general expenses. You would choose the right code. This time it's 20%. Quick look at our invoice. Our total invoice is 320. The VAT we want to claim on this is 200 from this line and a further 20. Let's approve the invoice. And again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at my VAT return. Now we can see in box four, we've got 420 pounds. So we've got 200 from Gordon's garage and then 220 from our customs invoice. If we go to transactions by tax rate, 
So here we have VAT on imports, the £200, and then the other charges with our £20. If you look at transactions by VAT box, box four, we can see everything that we're going to reclaim, £200 from Crazy Couriers for the import VAT, £200 from Gordon's Garage for the insurance repair, and £20 from Crazy Couriers for the other charges. So that's two examples of entering a purchase invoice in Zero that's for VAT only.